And Sky News has been able to verify images from the Russian city of Voronezh as Russian helicopters hit an oil depot. It's believed the attack was made to deny the Wagner mercenaries oil supply after gaining control of the area. The Russian helicopters reportedly fired on the military convoy, but one was shot down shortly afterwards. And Sky News reporter Dominic Waghorn has all the latest developments from inside Ukraine. So after a night of more shelling here, some very big explosions overnight, injuring a number of people here, killing people also in Kyiv. So they're on tenterhooks to see how this extraordinary development in Russia is going to unfold. What was striking about Putin's uh, speech was it was a break from the past. Normally, he rises above the fray. He watches his lieutenants fight it out. Uh, he's seen this feuding before. Nothing quite as extraordinary as this, but he's seen it before. I think there was an expectation that he might have waited to see whether Prigozhin, his mercenary... Uh, leader would prevail over uh, his Kremlin generals or the other way around. He would uh, see who won and then he would blame the loser as a scapegoat for his failures uh, in Ukraine. Instead, he's come down firmly on the side of the Russian military condemning uh, Prigozhin and saying that uh, he's involved in a mutiny, a stab in the back and ordering his military to suppress that mutiny. Which means that we're going to see fighting unless Prigozhin surrenders and he appears to be in no mood uh, to do so. Uh, the Russian military are going to be taking on if there is fighting and there are already reports of uh, some airplanes being used to attack Wagner rebel forces and some unconfirmed reports of at least one a jet being shot down and three helicopters being shot down by the Wagner rebels. And there's some reports of sporadic fighting on the road from Rostov-on-Don on Do, Rostov on to Voronezh, which Wagner also claims to have taken on the way uh, to Moscow. Uh, but so far we haven't seen the kind of fighting I think we might expect uh, in coming days. And the military, the Kremlin generals and uh, Putin's forces are taking on not a ragtag bunch of rebels, but... Uh, what uh, Prigozhin says are 25,000 Wagner fighters. Estimates are between 10,000 and 25,000. The point is they are battle-hardened fighters. They have not just earned their spurs in the war in Ukraine, but also in other battlefields uh, around the world. And they have done probably the most effective fighting in this war. So if they are pitted against the Russian military, we're going to see some pretty intense fighting on Russian soil. And so that obviously is giving huge hope to Ukrainians, hoping that that civil war, if it's what it comes to, certainly some kind of conflict, if that's as bad as they hope, then it could relieve the pressure on them at a crucial time for Ukrainians, because, of course, they are two weeks into their counteroffensive. It hasn't made the kind of advances and progress they had hoped for, but they will now be hoping for some kind of breakthrough as the morale on the Russian lines and the fighting spirit is probably going to be distracted by what's happening back home and the loyalty of those Russian soldiers in the trenches south of here will be fought over by the Kremlin and uh, now its rival, uh, Yevgeny Prigozhin.